In this video, I will show you how to download data from the Gapminder website. Go to www.gapminder.org forward slash data. The first thing you will notice is that a menu pops up that lists all the indicators available for you to download. The most popular indicators are listed first, and the other indicators are listed by their category and subcategory. For example, let's say I am interested in looking at data on HIV deaths. This can be found by clicking Health, HIV, and Annual HIV Deaths. Next, this data table will load. This may take a few seconds. This data table shows countries on the rows and years on the column. Each cell in this particular table corresponds to the total HIV deaths for a given year and a given country. The data set can be downloaded by clicking the CSV button. Make sure to save the file and not open it with Excel or numbers. I have already downloaded the data set, so I will click Cancel. For this activity, I would like you to download two data sets that you're interested in. Make sure to spend time exploring the Gapminder indicator list as there is a lot of fascinating data on it. I have downloaded the annual HIV deaths data set. Maybe I would like to see if a country's average income per person is related to the country's annual HIV deaths. Clicking where it says annual HIV deaths, in my case, or whatever the indicator is that you selected, will bring you back to the indicator list. Here, I will select income. Again, the data table will load and can be downloaded by clicking the CSV button. As I have already saved the data set, I will click Cancel. Now that my data sets are downloaded, they need to be read into Tableau. Click Text File and open one of the two data sets that you downloaded. The order doesn't matter. For me, I will open the HIV deaths data set first. Where it shows the name of your data set, click the caret icon and select field names are in first row. Next, we need to add the second data set. Click add text file and select the second data set, which in my case is the income data set. Under files, find and drag your data set. to the data pane. And you'll notice that an edit relationship menu will automatically open. We need to X out of this menu first, so we'll close it by clicking the X. And what we're going to do is click this caret icon and select field names are in first row. Now we can form a relationship between these two data sets. To do this, double click the red triangle icon. The data sets can be joined by the country name, so we will select country for both data sets. Country should be at the, at the bottom of the list of variables. After you've done this, click X. You'll notice that the red triangle icon is now gone. Now your data should be related and can be used to create a relationship, to create a visualization. Clicking sheet one, we can see that the variables are listed by their data set and can be brought into the visualization just like they could with any other data set.